Hey guys, welcome to another episode of EVs Plus Solar. We're here in Folsom, California in this beautiful neighborhood to meet another longtime EV enthusiast and driver. So I'm gonna go up to the house and we're going to meet him. Hi, could Hi. you tell us your name? Tom Dowling. Tom, welcome to another episode of EV Plus Solar. Um, so, you. Tom, you've been driving electric vehicles for many years now, many, right? Many, yeah. Do you know um, when you started driving electric vehicles? I think it was uh, 1990, uh, early 1990. Early 1990s. And what well, that's not right, anyway. <laughs> but it's, it's a long definitely, time ago. Definitely over 20 years, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what car did you start out driving with? Uh, the uh, EV1. The EV1. So I yeah. see that you're actually wearing an EV1 jacket right now. Right, right. Did you get that from the company? Um, I'm not sure. I, I think they gave them out. They I'm gave not them sure out how that worked. To exactly. the electric vehicle drivers? Yeah. Awesome. And uh, what's this car that you pulled out with right now? This is a Toyota uh, with a Tesla drivetrain and battery pack. Uh, Toyota RAV4 EV. Toyota RAV4 EV. It's very it's nice. The second generation. There was an earlier car with the same name, but this is the second one. This is the second generation, and this is a car that you own currently. Well, we're leasing it. You're leasing it, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, so I've heard that you actually have leased or owned a lot of different electric vehicles. Just about all of them. Just until about re all of them? Until recently, they started putting so many out, they couldn't keep up and wow. <laughs> keep that up. Okay, so you started with the EV1, and um, could you list a couple of them that you've driven? We had 1.2 EV1s. There was a le uh, lead acid version and a nickel metal hydride version, and we had one of each of those. Okay. Uh, we had an S10 uh, truck, S10E uh, Chevrolet truck. Mm -hmm. We also had a Ranger EV truck. Oh, wow. Um, we had, a, a, like I said, the earlier RAV4. We also had a trailer that they, uh, for the RAV4. A range extender that range you could hook extender, onto it. Yeah, yeah. Well that was a, uh, a California, uh, ex uh, California uh, deal to have that. With this for it was research. Okay. You know, it was fun. Mm. Uh, well, uh, we've had the earlier, we've had two uh, volts, the er first and second version okay. of volts. We still have the second version one. So you have the second version right now? Right. And that's in the garage as well? Right. Awesome. Right. Okay. Right. And um, I also heard you had the Tesla as well? We had a Tesla for three years. For three we years. Had a, t uh, had that. It was a great car. Uh, it was on a lease, and when it came came due, uh, we had to let it's go time to of turn it, it in. Time yeah. to turn it in. And so, out of all of those cars that you've driven so far, do you have a favorite? Oh, Tesla would be the favorite for sure. Tesla more than the EV one. Um, in retrospect, it's you know in a absolute terms, yeah, it's it's better, but. Mm -hmm. When you consider that it was a first, no, it's not better. I mean, they, they had a lot of time to do that. If their to car came it, out yep. at that time, uh, who knows what it would have been. Yeah, they, they had a lot of <laughs> older ones to build off of, definitely, right, to right. make a great car. Right, including the Roadster. There was a, a little known, generally little known, but uh, I just saw one the other day, uh, Tesla Roadster. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, That awesome. was a little different deal altogether, but. Yeah, definitely. So you were definitely uh, driving electric vehicles before they became popular, or before most people even knew they existed, mm -hmm. correct? Right. Even in the Bay Area, we ha they were not getting them when we got we got their our uh, ninety seven because uh, that was because that was uh, the first in 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 California was the was Sacramento because it's the capital and the. the uh, the Air Resources Board was interested for their in mandate, yeah, and, and so forth to so having them in this area, definitely. So, so there yeah. was like um, there wasn't much infrastructure 
back then either, correct? No. For electric vehicles? No, no. No, we had, they had this l big l l uh, large paddle charger that they came with. We mm -hmm. had one in the garage. Um, but in the beginning, that was it. It was in the garage, and, and there were none anywhere else. In the public, you mean in available? In public. But yeah. my wife got one at work, uh, got a charger at work. Uh, and I remember we used to drive to work. We were both working. We drive to work. Uh, together in the EV1. She would let, let, me, let me off and we'd go to her work where the cha charger was. And is that in Sacramento? Or yeah, that was downtown Sac Oh, nice. Sacramento and that's like uh, 30 miles from here, mm -hmm. roughly? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And so were you kind of instrumental in getting um, electric vehicles more recognized and chargers set up around? Uh, yeah, I did a lot of charger work uh, with, with various electrical contractors and so forth, trying to contact uh, site owners, uh, and uh, we had some and helping them install like and like different yeah, options and stuff. Let let them be aware of sources of funds and different angles of that uh, it could could work. Okay, so and then I also heard you're part of the Sacramento EV Group, mm -hmm. and then also I believe the Electric Automobile Association as yeah. well. Yes, and uh -huh. and you guys were instrumental in this area definitely, and I guess nationally yeah. in helping EVs really become what they are today, which is right. um, well known, right. definitely by the public. We did some uh, grant uh, uh, stuff with the uh, assistance of the peop other people in the Electric Auto Association, and you know some of the grants were f were uh, approved, some were not. Yeah. Um, so Tom, I uh, also heard that you built a website, um, basically back in the day when there wasn't in much information available for electric vehicle drivers. So private citizens basically had to take it in their hands to make it um, easier to get more information out there and to circulate. Could you explain a little bit of the website that you built and what it does? Okay. Um, it's in sections by, you know, uh, Bay Area, Sacramento area, Southern California areas and okay. so forth. And it shows as, as different things came along. Originally, we'd be all uh, Nick, the regular uh, paddle chargers, mm -hmm. but then we got into t the chargers for the uh, RAV, for the, excuse me, for the um, Ranger, mm -hmm. uh, which were different. So most of the stations would have two, and we had to keep track of which is which, and where the place was, and the phone number of people you might be able to call to find what there is to do there, all that kind of stuff, similar to some of the ones that are going along today. So it basically gave like locations of chargers, mm -hmm. what kind of charger there was there, yes, and any information that you had about that. Yes, it's not only about this, about the charging spot, but about things around it too. So oh, look what you could do we while could your do car is charging. The restrooms or eateries or whatever. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, yeah there's um, an app now called PlugShare. Which I guess is similar, but you mm -hmm. were basically the first version of yes. that kind of information for electric vehicle drivers. There were drivers. some some limited ones, like Smud had a w had a, a little booklet for the chargers in the Smud territory. But mm -hmm. if you went to San Francisco, that wouldn't help you any. So okay, this con consolidated all of it. All right. So Tom, I see on your roof there that you also have a bunch of solar panels. Right. Um, and you, you're not seeing all of them. There's some around the corner. Uh, we've got three sets, three sections here, mm -hmm. and I forgot how many on the other side, but there's quite a few. So around on the right, the left side the of side the house over there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so you're basically pretty self-sufficient. You got the electric cars, and then you're able to right. get solar energy as well. Right. Yep. And it works well. All right, Tom, thank you so much for explaining a little bit about your electric vehicles, your setup, and basically all that you had to do with getting electrical vehicles on the map. Thank you very much. Thank I you really so much. really enjoyed it. Very nice meeting you. Very informative. Thank, thank you. you.